In the last video in this series, we created our albums table, which is going to serve as the basis for our CRUD application. We're going to be inserting albums into it, editing albums, and deleting them. However, what I'm going to show you in this video is how to create the folder structure for the albums module. So if you go to Zen's website, we're on user guide slash modules.html right now. And you'll see this is the folder structure that we need to create. In their case, they've called their application ZF2 dash tutorial. However, we've called our skeleton, but this doesn't really matter. The only thing that matters is the document root is pointing to this folder. And within this folder, we have a module folder, and then we have all of the uh, folders that make up our album module. Now I'm going to show you how to create this folder structure within the command line. So if you don't want to have anything to do with the command line, you can just go ahead and create this um, using the GUI in Windows or Mac. However, if you do have an interest in knowing how to do this over the command line, I'm going to show you how to create all of this with a single command. So we're going to be doing this with the mkdir command, and we're also going to use the p option of it in order to create this recursively. So you'll be able to do this if you're developing on a Mac, or if you're using a virtual box that is using a Linux distribution. And even if you're on Windows, you can use a virtual box or something like a Vagrant, and you can also use this mkdir command. So let's go ahead and see how to do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is go over to my project right here. We're in the root of our skeleton application right now. You'll know you're in the root because you'll see files like composer.json and composer.lock. We can actually remove this composer.far right now because we added that to our path earlier. So let's go ahead and remove that folder. And you'll see within the root of our project we have this module folder. So let's go into there. We'll type cd module. And let's take a look at what we have inside here. And we'll see we have three modules in it already by default, which is the application form and model modules. So what we want to do is we want to create our albums module within here. So we'll see that we need to create a new folder called album. And within that album folder, it has three children folders within it, which is config, src, and view. Within src, we have an album folder, and then within that, we have three folders, which is controller, form, and model. And then finally, within the view folder, we have an album folder within it, and then another album folder within that. So we can already see when creating a Zend application, it's going to be a lot more time consuming than something like Laravel and CodeIgniter, because the focus is not on getting an application up and running quickly. It's on configuration and giving you total control over each aspect of the application. And we also need to do a lot of things manually as opposed to them being done for us in other frameworks. However, let's go back and let's create this folder structure here. So we are within our module uh, folder right now. This is where we're going to create our new module. And what we're going to type is mkdir and then dash p. The dash p option stands for parent. And what this is going to do is allow us to create folders recursively. So if we're creating a folder within another folder that doesn't exist yet, and we can do that with the dash p option. So after dash p, uh, let's type album, because we know we need an album module, and then type slash, and then type a left curly brace. The reason we're typing a left curly brace is remember we need to create three folders within the album one. So we're going to put a left curly brace there, and then type config src, and so the config folder is totally done now. If we look at the site here, we'll see there's nothing within the config folder. So we're done with that now, and we can start working on our src folder. So if we go back to the command line here, we're going to type src and then slash album, because there's an album folder within that. And within the album folder, we had three other folders, uh, controller, form, and module. So what we're going to type is slash and then a pair of curly braces so we can create those three children folders and I'll type controller comma form comma model and the last curly brace so we are done with that folder now and the last one we need to work on is the view one so let's type a comma and then we'll just type view slash album slash album and finally we'll end this statement with another curly brace in order to close the one uh, that we did at the beginning with config so once you're done all of that, just hit enter, and that should all be created now. So we can take a look at what we've created with ls-capital R, and then the name of the folder we created, album. 
So let's take a look at this and let's just focus on the blue pieces of text here. So we've, we see we've created a config SRC and view folders within the parent album folder. And then within the uh, album SRC folder, we have another album folder. And then within album SRC album, we have three other folders, controller, form, and model. And finally, within the album view folder, we have a child folder called album. And then within album view album, we have another folder album. So with that single command, we created all of those different folders recursively. So in the next tutorial, we're going to take care of the rest of this modules.html page. Specifically, what we're going to do is we're going to create a module.php file, uh, which is going to sit inside the album module. And this file is going to have a class within it. And the class has two important methods, which is get autoloader config and get config. And the module manager is going to be calling this file. It's going to be calling these two methods. And that's going to let Zen know about the rest of our module. So we'll take care of that in the next video.